officers are used to being attacked by angry suspects, but the stakes are completely different when the suspect has fangs and sharp claws. <laughs> Here are eight moments where cops were forced to face off with deadly pets. Meet these La Crosse, Wisconsin officers who in September of 2023 were dispatched to deal with a rather unique suspect, a runaway dog. More specifically, a young pit bull. This dog in particular had reportedly been exhibiting hostile behavior in the past few weeks, leaving bruises on his owner's arm from a previous attack and biting another person. Now he's engaging in that same behavior outside, barking and lunging at random pedestrians. The owner expressed fear for her safety and the safety of others in the area. And when the officers got there, moments later, the dog was perched defensively on the hood of her owner's van. Park. That's my other dog in the car, and that's why he's there. I had my friend come here because he busted my wooden bat to come to me. Which dog's that one, yours? Both of them. So why can't you take care of your dog? Why? I was in here mixing up Benadryl and dog food to put him down. They're doing euthanization. Why would you do that? Because they're killing him tomorrow. He's attacked too many people. <laughs> He's dangerous. Please. According to Wisconsin Legislature Section 174.02, any person who is injured by the dog, whose minor child was injured by the dog, or whose domestic animal is injured by the dog, may commence a civil action to obtain a judgment ordering an officer to kill a dog. Furthermore, the order will be granted if a court finds that, one, the dog caused serious injury to a person or domestic animal on two separate occasions off the owner's property without reasonable cause, and two, the owner of the dog was notified or knew prior to the second injury that the dog caused the first injury. 68 to 79. I kind of caught the tail end. Are you getting that snare? It's currently on top of a car in the middle of the road. Oh, why would I chase the dog? It's not doing that. Right now. It was. It was chasing people down the street. Right. I, I know. I'm not going to take it. Well, I mean, yeah. Well, well, I didn't know what I don't think she made anything better. Is it good? Bleeding? Uh, nothing bleeding. All right, that's all right. But no, I'd say... Why should I tell him? Here, come back here. Up the car door. Well, I, I know. But he's a chicken... I think he must have did something. Stop. Dude, they're they're doing know. something. I'm not going to be in it. We're coming with one of those big old pole snare things. So. Well, I tried with the... Yeah. I got some help. Here, come back here and we'll talk. I'm a dog lover. Yeah, me too. But I'm, at the same time, I ain't trying to get bit because someone can't take care of their dog. Well, that's you know what I mean? Like she said, she gets along with the other little puppy in the car. Are you aggressive? Yeah, I mean, he I just tried to... I tried bribing him with some lunch. How was it when you approach him? He did. Yeah, he came, he came with this, this gentleman to, here. He's defensive. How long does that thing get? That's it. Oh. Yeah, it's the longest one we got. I don't think it's gonna work. I tried to tell him, he wants to get van. I tried to tell him to do it, but he's scared of this. I'm thinking if he can roll down the window and let the dog in the van, he can jump off the other side. That way he's in the van. So we're asking. So I mean, that's why he's why he, so I don't know, he must who's not in like the van. It. I don't know. It must be her boyfriend. Her so dog. the dog knows that he man. Like he's in heat. What? In heat? Okay. He already attacked. What's her name? That's all. Huh? What's her name? Dog. Oh, he's dog. No, but she's in heat. Oh, what's what's the dog's name? Come here, Atlas. You want a leash? Here's a leash. That's Atlas. I'm gonna try. Put her on leash. I'm put her on thing. Here, I'm gonna give him Benadryl. Here, give her. Here, here, give her. You know, here's a mouthful for you. Ready to ride? He ain't gonna do that. Oh, whatever. There's lunch feet on the thing. Side. Yes. Get off the board. Who are you talking to? I have emergency. Other people on the phone. Okay. Well, you're you're not taking care of your dog. It's bit people. Talk to like she had her. Put her on the leash right away. Come here. Calm her down. If you have to, let her go. But leave the leash on. Oh, Alex. Yeah, baby. That's why I think he should get out of here with the other dog. I think that dog's dead to leave him with somebody in the car. Well, it'd be worse because he'd be coming at you. That's what he did to everyone else until he pulled up. Every damn person. Come on, look at that dog. Yeah, I'm going to put him in control by the thing. Come here. Eddie, pull it down further. Just so you know, I got this out. Yeah, I saw that. Atlas, come here. You want to see Stella Val? She's right here. Come here. Now. Yeah, see, he's trying to grab him. Did you get it when you let you put this around him? No, you don't need to put that around him. Come from the back, I'll distract him up here. Come here, come down here. Come on, put it. 
Gotta move fast. You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? He's dangerous. Yeah, that's why we'll just take it slow. I Atlas. gave him already three f***ing Benadryl. It's Atlas. That's what the Humane Society, everyone's like trying, because nobody will give me a f***ing tranquilizer. The police don't help me, they don't do s***. Well, finally. We don't have tranquilizers. <laughs> Pit bull type dogs have earned a reputation as being notoriously dangerous with the drive strength and bite force to do some real damage. And they do, according to CDC statistics that say that pit bulls alone are responsible for 28% of fatal dog attacks. This has led to serious debate about the prohibition of pit bulls, and so far nearly a thousand cities across the United States have either restricted or outright banned them entirely. But those popularly cited statistics were gathered over 30 years ago, from 1979 to 1998, and it's for this very reason that the pit bull advocates claim that the common perception of them is outdated and incorrect. Pit bull lovers agree that just like any other dog, it's a mixture of their personality, history, and the training that will determine their behavior, and they argue that the breed shouldn't be banned simply because a few bad ones are destructive. But for supporters of the ban, and surely the officer who just got attacked and bitten, their potential to destroy is enough reason to keep them away. I'm emerging for now. Are you good? Negative. We pepper sprayed the dog, so I don't know how this is going to go going forward. Tell me, you good? Fuck, it's deep. Is it? Do you want to turn it, kid, or are you good? Alright, where the hell is this thing? I don't know. I think. I think. Yeah, right, sir? Nope. He grabbed a hold of my foot and I called. <laughs> sir, let's not even try it anymore. Right now is the best. I got him pretty good. Oh my god, dude. He got you. Oh my god. Hey guys, get. I'm out. I'll, I'm gonna shoot it if it comes again. Don't let, don't let him do that. Hey, sir, back up. Here. Well, it just bit right, him. It's, it's, we'll just have you back up. If it comes again, it's getting shot. Oh, I don't shoot it. You're not going to pull your gun on it. If it comes like that, uh, if it comes on him like that, he's well, it's getting let shot. Me, let me try it one more time. No, this I'll, is, I'll take it in my own hands. No, nope, nope, we're not doing that. You got something I can put on this? Here, Joe, man, we got gauze in here. Did he get road rash or? Uh, no, he got bit. Oh, I bit. Did you? Got me. Yeah, I got the oxygen peroxide for you. Ooh. Yeah, no, don't, don't put that on. I got alcohol. You okay, man? I should have shot it when it came on you. It's alright. Alright, I'm okay. Where is it? It's on the other side of the van. Here, it's just tear it open with me. I'll do it. There is no animal control. They yeah. signed it to us. You want that? Keep your eyes on him. Watch, yeah. Watch, don't shoot when he's up on yeah, there. Yeah, you can't do that. There's a guy. Yeah, there. I, I see oh. that. I see that. Got it. I don't think we should even be here, gentlemen. Dude, I got him good. I think he should open up the back door while he comes back door. Listen, listen. I think he should open up the hatchback and let the dog go into the car and he jump out the front door. Don't act like Just that. Push you guys got gauze. Oh, yeah, we got we got stuff here. I'll let them mess with it. I appreciate it though. Thank you. What do you think you got? For real. Dude, honestly, I, I can't be doing that. It can get shot, but the thing is, we're in I'm, not, I'm not gonna shoot this. There's a guy in the I, know, I car. see that. I see that. I don't think we should even be out here with it. Got a good spot for this? Uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, we gotta just sign this dude's we car. Can try to I don't know, but I mean, I don't know how that would work. Direct them so they don't come at this dog. Kill me. Never mind. God, how do you want to do this? Yeah, we can start, uh, start blocking traffic. While the officers had brainstormed on how to contain the situation without losing a finger, the owner decided it was an opportune time to express dissatisfaction with how they were handling things. Why would you just tase him? You got a lot of recommendations for not doing too much. Oh, you're going to wait for the officer to get bit? This is why I told you guys and nobody did nothing. This is your dog, right? Yeah. Why are you blaming us for your dog? Don't just ignore her. This is ridiculous. Stop. Stay there. Stop. Stop. Come over this way. Yeah. Walk down. Alice. Alice. Come here, baby. Alice, come here. Uh oh. You're gonna need more than that, dude. 
he just destroyed freaking his arm. So, I've, so I've sprayed it. So here's my plan. Right now, it died pretty hard when I sprayed it with the pepper spray. I've already got through one can. Doing that, we come right up over the catch ball. It's the only thing I'm worried about is that he's gonna slide really quick off this. So, Cotto, come here. Come here. Get your pepper spray on. You gotta remember, there's a passenger in this car. So we just sprayed it. You just sprayed it. Yeah, I know. But when I sprayed it, it went down pretty quick. So if I could leave you spray this thing, and then he can try to catch full it, what do you think? Terrible idea. What do you think the plan is, though? I think we hold. I think our best bet is trying to tase it and then just getting on top of it and holding its head or something. Trying to get in with her. That's it bit. It bit Jomling after you pepper sprayed it. Oh, I know. Well, I mean, it was simultaneously. But I know, but yeah, if we want so to try to tase it right now, we could try. Let's wait for command to get here and see what they say. No, don't call it. Go back in the bar. She's not gonna listen to you. She's. Oh, now you guys think it'll. Thank you. I appreciate Thank you. I don't, if there's someone else in the car, I don't want the dog in the car. No, no I said he goes in one way, he goes in the I think we keep our distance right now. If it charges us again, dude, we can't take a bite from it. No shit. Yeah. I mean, we also have to do something. We can't just watch it all. Day. Well, there's no other the crowd. We can I, get, I get that. It's a very dynamic situation. we got a very large crowd, so we got to be very careful in what we do. Can we just have you guys move this way just in case it does run this way again? Yep. I don't want anyone to get bit. Come. Come here, Addy. Hey, come here. Come put it down. Atlas. Okay. Hey, man, just walk her up to the lead. Good fast, good fast. Good girl, good girl. Okay, come on. Hold it down. Got her. Got her. I just need to see that. We'll get her real quick. Put her on the fire hydrant. Put it down. Put it down. Got her under control. It's like, why couldn't she have done it? We're telling him to. He's moving it. Go. Well, why would you do that? Trust me, to be an attack again. Yeah, that's retarded. 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 Yeah, Okay, are you gonna be cooperative at all or no? I'm trying, but I can't. Let go, we got the dog on a leash. Put it around. Come on now. Guys, I'm on the other end. Okay, just let her. Jump in and get some. Get some. Stop out of the way. No, hang on, back cage. In the back. In the back, back. Yeah, back up. Oh my god. I... Oh, you're alright. Okay. Jummy, you okay? It's down in the ball. Where, where are our first responders? They're right there. Brown, you wanna. I don't know how this works. You wanna grab? So far, Atlas has bitten three people. Wisconsin Legislature Section 174.02 states that any subsequent instance of following the first instance of a dog biting someone, the owner of a dog is liable for two times the full amount of damages and shall forfeit not less than $200 nor more than $5,000 per victim. The owner might get away with the first guy since he voluntarily approached a clearly rabid dog, but the officer and the man who was just bitten are probably going to have some pretty hefty medical bills for her to cover. Uh, should I just tase this thing or what? Please tase him, I'm scared. He's gonna be designing me up, so I'm next. Could, could she just, hey, could she just walk it home? Could she, if it's, if it's, want to take it home. She's gonna get Okay, there we go. Please come back. That's why they call the police, but they can't help me. Okay. You can talk to her because she's the one that hates me. Let someone talk with her. Let's get her information. We need rabies licensee. Why don't you just. I don't know. Our we'll, we'll find them. They're somewhere out here. Either fell. We'll find them. Okay. Don't worry about it. Just need a rest or two. I gotta go to the hospital. It's down to the bone. They said I need stitches, so. Yeah, I'm okay. Do you have any of that? I can't fucking breathe. No, because I called these police five fucking times to help me. And they told me no. Can we, can we get that one in there just so. I'm trying to. Hey, sir, I'm not yelling at you, okay? I understand. I'm not yelling at you. I'm just saying, can we just get this dog in there just avoid any issues? That's it. I want it back in the van. Yes. I have to, yes. Take it easy. Here's your dog. Trying to help you out. Okay, help me out. Yep, that's what I'm doing. Come on, bud. How old is Atlas? 
He was like a year and a half. A year and a half? He was up for euthanization tomorrow. That's scary, dude. You are lucky it just bit the elbow. Yeah, one time you got bit? It laughs and then it shook. Okay. Oh, I got the pepper spray on my face. Can I say goodbye? Um, uh, probably not oh, the best idea. Oh, we're not opening it. Oh, that's all right. <clears throat> I actually got it in the snare. I know. How many, so you, him, and anyone else get bit? A couple others They're said on. they got, one guy said he got bit in the shoe, but he said like, Okay. Skin I don't think anyone else actually got like bits. I don't even have my phone because I had to get out for emergency through my bedroom window. I had the pepper spray on my eyes. Oh, shut the f up. Do you want to go with them or you want uh... to? No, I got my two dogs in the truck. I okay. got, I got All right. my own spots. So the Humane Society will not touch it if it's in the truck. So we are responsible for taking it out and bringing it into the building. So that's my only next concern is it's in there, but now we have to take it out and we have to kennel it in there. And I put Benadryl and steak in the steak to like see how I was going to sedate him because nobody would help me. Shut the f up and get the f away. Stop. Excuse me. What are you doing? Is it, how bad is it hurt? Uh, it aches. I'm sure okay. it's gonna hurt later, but I don't want to one right now. Did you just try to catch pull it and it jumped or what? It, yeah, and it jumped and I caught it, but then when it like lunged, like the pole went into me and then well, I sure. fell and then it got out and then it came out. I told them to help me, they wouldn't fing help me and I end up in a whole show. Is it normal to be that color? Yeah, it's turning a little purple. Got strength yet? I mean, it's tingling? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's kind of getting... deep. You got a pretty good deep belt. Yeah. Come on in and sit down on the captain. I find it funny because it's all coming back on the police. How did he get off the leash? Like, how did he get out here? He busts through my backyard fence. I didn't let him out. He didn't just, like, get loose. He busts through a six foot privacy fence, and I'm over there mixing up Benadryl and dog food because I had to come out my bedroom window. I didn't have the keys or anything in any of the doors. So I was mixing that shit up. They gave me steak there. I put it in the steak to try to see how the sedation was going to work for tomorrow. There this could have all been prevented. Never. Let me just, before, like, you're talking to me right now. I just got on shift. I was not here for the entirety of all of your 911 calls. I don't know what happened beforehand, okay? I got here as soon as I could, and I was coming from the south side. I get that you're frustrated with us. I have to do my job and get information from you. So I've we... already waited to talk to the captain. Okay. This is not gonna end in your guys' favor. Well, it's probably not gonna end in your favor either. Oh, wow. That's I've asked for your guys' assistance. Do you see how unreasonable it is to, have, to tell dispatch, hey, have an officer come here and shoot my dog? It's not unreasonable. You see how unreasonable he is? But it's your dog, right? It didn't... That attacked me. Okay, it attacked multiple people. Could it have been shot? Yes. Is that an ideal, just like justified outcome? Probably not. No, I'm gonna need an attorney right now. They're putting this on me when I begged and begged for help. Yeah, of course you are. I'm not putting it on you, but you're putting it on me. I'm trying to ask you what happened. You're saying it's my fault I didn't get here sooner. I just started my shift. I didn't shift. say it was your fault. I said it's lacrosse police department because I begged for the help on Saturday night when I had climbed through my bedroom window. I asked for this help. Um, sorry, Nobody got, helps me. Okay, I asked for this help today. Got to that, uh, Nobody helps me. Do you understand ma'am. that? Simultaneously, other witnesses were being interviewed by police, a few of whom had opposing stories to Deborah. She also alleged that Atlas busted through her fence to escape her property, but when officers went to check, there was no damage to the fence at all. A lot of Benadryl. It was over a whole pack of f***ing Benadryls. She gave him puppy chow and steaks from the bot. She found him literally right outside the f***ing back door, and as soon as it started to hit him, that dog went f***ing ape bit. He started jumping up on the front door, anybody that was coming by, he started f***ing going after it. I tried to put him on a leash to get him into a fenced yard for you guys. Mm -hmm. That did not go well for me. Was the dog given something today? Benadryl, three yeah. capsules to see how he would yeah. react to all like, the vets told me. Okay, because it looks like someone saw him, like, the, someone give the dog something, so it was Benadryl today? I can't put Benadryl okay. in bees to give to him because we're going to see how he reacts for 1.30 tomorrow. To try to sedate him because nobody could give me a tranquilizer. You couldn't help. Animal Patrol couldn't help. Nobody was helping me. He come right at me, grabbed a hold of my foot. Did I you went down. He got me right on the shoe. That dog wasn't that bad until she started, like, hitting him. Was she hitting him? Yeah. 
kept put like the dog was barking at the door wanting to get to her but she like outside the bar yes arts outside the bar and like shoved the door against the dog and like whacking him with him kicking him punching him i'm like you can't do that you're gonna like rile him up he's gonna get mad he came up to me like i walked up and i came back he he, he ran up to me wagging his tail all nice he didn't even bite me he licked me mm -hmm. and i was giving him treats dude i watched her poison this dog and it made me feel sick mm -hmm. to my stomach i don't no, I, I guess I don't want to see this. You're not the she first one to, to tell be, me this one today. She needs so. to be in, in trouble. This is wrong. This dog so, wouldn't be doing this. She gave him something, apparently, and then he started, like, foaming out of the mouth because they were like, somebody come kill my dog, do this and that. I'm like, you, why are you saying that? And then she was just saying, like, you to me and a whole bunch of shit. I came up to the road, and he followed me right over here, and I gave him treats, like dog treats, because I'm my own dog, and he was licking me. He didn't bite me at all. Just, I told him all to stay away. He they wouldn't listen to me. The officers were able to safely transport Atlas to the Humane Society, but getting him out would be a different story. They would end up having to give him multiple doses of a sedative before they could confidently take him out. Just do a yeah, small amount. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot of. Yeah, yeah, shut it, shut it, shut it. Back out, back out. I don't like that. I'm just gonna try this snack for the leash. Just a little, not a lot. You're good? Okay, right, nice job. All right, so that's. Yeah, I know you didn't like that, but we're good. All right, so we got to start. Yeah, that's that's a good start. You got the first one. You got the second one. It's nice and slow. Nice and slow. All right. Get that catch pull in. Let's try a little bit. Oh, I am. Come on, big dog. Okay, and hold it like hold it like this. <laughs> He's not gonna do it. Can we, here, can I? I could probably I could nudge it with my baton. One. Now I'm gonna try to pull more this yeah. way. Well, so his foot is. So he's got a hold of this, so I can't. Oh, is it caught in his mouth? Yeah, so he bit it, so close it. There, let it go. Alright, just a little bit, not a lot. There you go, close it. There you go. There you go. There you go. I'm not liking how this is going. If we give you a treat, is that gonna just relax you? No. I'm gonna make a phone call, guys. Uh, just, just make sure it's locked. Okay. I know. I know. Well, we didn't want that part of the pole. There you go. Perfect. And then you and guys all know the stretcher then? To, to be cautious okay. when you're pulling on this, not to release. Sure, doesn't release. Really, yes. Um, so now, are we doing the stretcher then? Yeah. Okay. Um, we just potentially just eyes are open. Yeah, yeah. he's not. Is he's, that he's not. Okay. Very nice. Right. right. Somebody you want to actually Paul, you just want to grab the stretcher now. Help out. Atlas was then taken inside and due to his behavior had to be euthanized by the Humane Society. It's currently unknown what charges or penalties the owner is facing, if any. Where it seemed that Atlas had little attachment to his terrible owner, you could tell the next canine cared about his owner greatly. So much so that he attacked the officers trying to arrest him. Get on your stomach! Get on your stomach! I'm gonna shoot your dog! On July the 24th of 2021, dispatch received a call concerning a man who was violating a DV restraining order. Emergency number one. PD with a transfer for some kind of altercation off of uh, Tusu. Go ahead, ma'am. Um, yeah, they're up on, um, you know where d house is? No, but is that where it's occurring? Well, it was here, and then, um, she was only fighting with him because he wouldn't 
give her phone or house keys back, and she wasn't even doing anything to him. And who is it? Him, who was it? Yeah. He wouldn't give back keys? Her house keys. Who's her? Um, her, or my cousin. Who's that? girlfriend? Who's that? Who, what's her first name? Yeah. Okay, um, so he wouldn't give back keys to and this occurred at Chris's house? No, it was, um, at house at the apartment across from Chevron, Chevron on Tusu. Upon arriving on scene, the officers were unable to locate the caller nor either of the reported parties. But across the street at the Chevron gas station, they saw a lone man yelling and acting erratically for no discernible reason. That man was later identified as 32-year-old Greg Barlow III. Control ball fart looks like a HMA blue striped sweater over tan shorts. Yo! Uh, Hi! <laughs> Don't run at me, bro. Hey, back up. You're gonna get tased. What do you want? I'm, I'm gonna fucking tase what you. What do you want? What do you fucking cover the sheriff's army? I'm gonna weapon. tase you. What? what Stop. You, get back or you fuck Stop. Okay. Get, on the, get on the ground, you're gonna get it again. Control ball four taser deployed. Come on. Get on the ground. Come on, how about you? Come on. Come on. Help me, you're okay, gonna, I'm you're gonna, you're gonna, get on the ground now. Get on the ground now. Are you trying to take a look? Help me. Stop Help me. resisting. Get on your stomach. Get on your, turn on your stomach now. Stop. Turn on your stomach. Okay. Stop. Turn on your stomach. Get on your stomach. Get on your stomach. I'm gonna shoot your dog. I'm gonna shoot your dog. Shoot your fucking dog. Should I shoot him? Let go of the fucking baton. Get on the ground now. Let go of the baton. Get on the ground. Let go of the baton. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Control ball four, hands on. Change your deploy, start his back. I will shoot you. You understand me? I'm gonna shoot you. Hey, get on the ground now! Help me, somebody! Look at him! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground now! Help me! Help me. Get on your stomach! Get on your stomach now! Now! Get on your stomach! You're gonna get bit! Turn on your stomach! Get on your stomach! Get on your stomach! I'm gonna shoot your dog. I'm gonna shoot your dog. Shoot your fucking dog. Shoot your dog. Get on the ground. 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 Get on the the non-arresting officer fired his service weapon at the dog, causing it to drop to the ground. And if we apply principles surrounding reasonable use of force, the officer has a duty to use only that amount of force that reasonably appears necessary to accomplish a legitimate law enforcement purpose. While dangerous, the dog didn't necessarily pose a deadly threat to the officers, especially with the two of them present. And if we look back at the footage, I'm gonna shoot your dog! The dog clearly wasn't trying to maul them. It's only seen jumping up on the officer and growling, possibly nipping at his hands, in an attempt to free his owner. With that being said, they just as easily could have neutralized the dog with pepper spray or even a taser in order to complete the arrest, and deploying a firearm could be considered excessive where there was no apparent deadly threat. Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Make it the dog!
After the officers had George in custody, they rendered aid to his dog bites until EMS arrived at the scene, and by the time they got help, George's dog was deceased. George was subsequently taken to the hospital, and then to the police station without further incident. He was later released after a short stay, and then arrested again, exactly one month later for one count of arson and five counts of attempted homicide after purposely setting fire to the porch of an occupied residence. Thankfully, the situation didn't have to end as tragically for the next suspect's pet. All the dog needed was just a little taste of the stun gun. On May the 3rd of 2018, dispatch received a call where the caller could be heard arguing with someone, but didn't say anything to dispatch before hanging up. Minutes later, they received another call from a local taxi company stating they'd been called to pick up an intoxicated male who was beating up a female. Police were able to secure the caller's address and arrived shortly afterwards to hear arguing coming from inside the home. Control five Charlie, there's some yelling going on, it doesn't sound physical. Hey, stop! Get go. Get outside. I want him out. Get out. Stop. Come here. Come here. When the officer turned around, the woman was trying to walk out to the front door, but the man grabbed her by the neck and waist and was pulling her back into the house. My boy. It's my boy. All right, let's come in. Dude, this girl is jacked up. Okay. Come here. Coffee 101 Alpha. Come here, champ. All right, uh, we're code four, kind of, for now. I still keep coming code, please. Oh my God, she's jacked up, dude. Coffee. All right. What's up, bud? This girl is so whack. Okay, can dude. you get your dog? Yeah, I got him. Come in. Come in. Come here, All right, I'm code this four now. We're jacked good. up, dude. Come in. Come in. That's my boy. All right. No, that's my boy. Okay. Okay. How you doing? Okay, calm down. Let's get this dog. Hey. 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 Okay. You shoot your dog. Grab him. Grab him. Yeah. Grab him. Hey. I shoot. Get the dog in the house. Get the dog in the house before you shot. Don't touch it. Having given the couple more than enough chances to get their dog under control, one officer deployed his taser and stunned the animal. The dog subsequently ran down the street and out of sight, yelping in pain. You really shot my dog? Hey, sit down right now. Sit down right now. Sit down right now. Sit down right now. Sit down. Sit down right now. Sit. Sit down on the you. ground. <laughs> Camera fell. You're lucky your dog oh, didn't get killed. Dog, oh, no, no. We gave you plenty of opportunities to get that dog yeah, in there. Man, I'm, I'm telling you. I used to be able to shot your damn dog. <laughs> Came this close to freaking shooting it. You need to control, control that thing. Five, Charlie, there was a taser deployment on a dog. Everybody's code four though. Get over there, sit down. Charlie, taser deployed, 627 on the canine. 
It's crazy, bro. You guys we could have killed your dog. dog. You know that, right? It's not my fucking dog. I don't dog. care. We're and guess go. what? It could have killed you too. Okay. Well, it didn't. What's going what on today? Hey, ma'am. Look at me. Yeah. What's going on? I, I didn't know. No, just sit. Just sit, sit down. Sit. Where's Champ at? Sit. I'm not sitting We're gonna stay right here, sir. No, I'm sit. not. Where's Champ at? Sir. Ma'am, you're detained hey. right now. You Where's hear me? Champ hey, have a seat. How am I detained? Have a seat. Where's Champ at? Have a seat. Get over here. Sit down right here on the rock. Sit down. Where's Champ at? Yeah. What's going on here? Where's Champ? He took off running. Okay. He'll come back, I'm sure. You guys, you guys did a game? Where's Champ? Where's I, I, Stop. I, I told you I Stop. didn't want to. I... Stop. What's going on here? Nothing. Nothing? Were you guys fighting? No. But where's Champ at? I don't know. Here's the thing. When I get here, I hear her yelling at you to get out of the house. She comes to the door. And then you grab her and pull her away from the door. No, nah, man, I'm trying to okay. get champ, man. Nope. I could have shot your dog at the door when it came at me and bit at me. He could have shot your dog there. We're not talking about the dog anymore. Do you understand? Okay, well, I'm not trying to fight with y'all, man. But where's my dog, man? Your dog's gone. <laughs> We're not talking about the dog. Are you going to talk to me about what happened in here? Yeah, absolutely. What happened in there? I, I'm not trying to do nothing in there. We, everything's fine, man. The male suspect, Willie Mosher, was subsequently arrested and booked into the correctional facility. An administrative hearing soon after the incident determined that the dog was a danger to the public and the board ordered him to be euthanized. However, just prior to the operation, the city requested a third party review of the order. After days of consideration, the city board decided not to euthanize the dog, but to instead place him in the custody of nearby family members and require that he undergo professional training. The mayor released a statement about the decision, saying that they thought the dog deserved another chance, although they do feel like it was an attack mode in the situation. And if the owner's interested, he could reevaluate the situation in a couple of years and the dog might be able to go back to him. Most would agree that a dog defending its owner from harm doesn't deserve to die, and neither did this next innocent pooch, but that's exactly what happened after police stormed into the wrong home. Oh, no. On June the 3rd of 2023, police received a 911 call about a burglary in progress. I'm one, do you need police fire EMS? Oh. Yeah, Wake up, not one. Somebody just took my door in. What's your address? I'm at 30 Street. <laughs> The dispatcher sent officers to the reported address. However, when the dispatcher entered the address into the computer, it autocorrected and cranked out the wrong one. And so it ended up sending officers to the wrong place. As the responding officer approaches what he thought is the scene of a robbery, he had no idea he was actually encroaching upon a peaceful home of Cassandra Page and Matthew Vasquez. Okay. Hey, day come back door is open. Back door, like crack open. Is there a way to get just walk around there? No. You can't. Mm -hmm. You want to jump in a whole cover and you hold it and leapfrog over? Yeah. Alright, go ahead. Oh 
little stabby parts real Yeah. Quick. Wake up, police department! Puppy. Easy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, I, 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 I hit that. I'm sorry. I hit. We got to call this much. Yeah, and the dog just came back after me. So I'm going to sleep. My dog's are fine. They're really nice. Okay. I we'll call them in and we'll, 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 get, we'll get around. Go ahead. Wait, We're ten four in the backyard for now. What, Taser deployed. On yeah. Home. Well, it, it was some, we got called that somebody was come breaking in and and then and it was just unknown. So that's so why that's why that's why we were back here. The doors wide open and it don't look good in our you know situation. That's why we're here. And the dog charged inside. I mean, I, I shot it. I, the black one, I don't know where You the, shot my dog? The, the black the one. The gun? Yeah, it's, it's still over there. The black dog's over here. Okay. You shot my dog with the gun? With a taser. Huh? Taser. Who? No, no! No, I shot it, bro. You shot him? The dog, whose name was Finn, was lying on the other side of the house, severely injured from a gunshot wound, and a supervisor arrives moments later and clears Cassandra to take the dog to the animal hospital. Oh my god, what the Hey, can we? Oh my god. Supervisor coming? Yeah. Oh All right. God. We got a supervisor coming, ma'am. What? I said we got a supervisor coming. I'm sorry, but it, it, Hey, did you say you shot on the radio? No, nah, no. Nah. Hey, 2150s. Um, we need a supervisor here. I shot you here called out in the back door, and like six dogs huh? ran out of us. And I shot one of them, like, in the and back. call so notes. This is our original call, and then they correct it to 20. Yeah, the, the dog, well, as far as I know, the dog's alive. He's still in the house. Around, so I go one side, and that's the other. He sees open back door. We go to the back door, kind of pie around. He knocks on yeah, the Yeah, yeah, the, the, the owner's here. The owner's here. She brought the dog uh, in the house. Six dogs charge out the back. I had just switched the taser when I heard the dog. I wind up popping one with the taser. He winds up popping one with the pistol. He still had his hand. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, she, I just got off the phone. She said you can take him to an emergency clinic real quick. Yeah, yeah. She don't bother. All right, yeah, she, 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 she's going to take it to the emergency clinic. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. -bye. Uh huh. Bye bye. Yeah, they're not coming out. The owner gotta take it. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Finn was rushed to the emergency room, but soon passed away as a result of his injuries. The commander of the Waco Police Department later visited Cassandra and her family at the clinic to offer condolences, and afterwards the department released a statement about the incident, saying how regretful they were about the outcome regarding their response that resulted in the death of the dog. And in the future, they would be more diligent about the addresses that they enter into their system. Four months later, Cassandra and Matthew filed a lawsuit against the city and the police department of Waco seeking $200,000 in damages. The case is ongoing. No one ever expects to see a tragedy happen on their own property, but when you allow your vicious dogs to escape your home, you should expect the consequences to be severe.
Come out here. So are these your dogs? Yeah. They just, they just attacked, attacked people, a, a subject in the alley. On May the 21st of 2023, officers were on East Walnut Street handling an unrelated call when they suddenly heard someone yelling for help nearby. There, I'm going to give this back to you. It's his so cell phone. Bring... I don't... Oh, man, I don't want to be involved with Children's Sources again. I just got out of my August. Well, we are going to go ahead and get him over to JDC. Do not want to be in contact to figure everything else out. 73, unrelated to this call, screaming for help in the accident. Jesus Christ. An attack. Jack, come. You are going to call for you. Where did it get you? I'm being on my mother. Hey. Oh, my. Who did? The dogs? dogs. So it was more than one? Yes, there was, I saw two dogs. What kind of dogs? <laughs> There's two large black dogs. They attack 73. He is bleeding. I've got them at gunpoint in the alley. Get to their information. Who owns them? Sit. See if he listens. Get back. Stop. In the, in the back there. Hey, come out here. So, are these your dogs? They just, they just attacked, attacked a, su a subject in the alley. Is the other one in there? All right. Come on out here and talk to my supervisor for me. The state of Ohio has a law that features a zero tolerance policy for aggressive dogs and directly expresses permission for people to eliminate them upon contact. Revised Code Section 95528 declares that a dog that is chasing or approaching in a menacing fashion or apparent attitude of attack that attempts to bite or otherwise endanger or kills or injures a person or kills livestock, poultry, or other domestic animal or other animal that is the property of another person can be killed at the time of that incident. Thus, given the dog's threatening body language and aggressive gestures, the officer was within his right to deploy a service weapon. Where's the other dog? He's in there. Okay. Dog here, sir? He's dead. I, I think he's probably dead. Okay, can you get a hold of him? Yeah. Oh, poor babies. Oh, poor babies. Okay. Do you have a car? Yes. Okay. Oh, man. Let me, let me sit with your dog. Do me a favor. Go inside. Give me some t-shirts. Please. Please. Please, quickly. Hi, babies. You're okay. Please don't bite me. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. I know that hurts. Okay. In their butt towards me, butt towards me. Unfortunately, one dog died on the scene, but the other made it to the clinic and would end up surviving. It's needless to say that it was subsequently confiscated from its owner. You'd be surprised at just how irresponsible that some dog owners can be. That definitely applies to this next owner who let not two, but four aggressive dogs escape from his house. <laughs> On August the 12th of 2019, police officers in animal control responded to a caller who said that he'd seen a man get attacked by four dogs. The victim had reportedly seen the dogs and tried to approach them to find their owner and in response got attacked and bitten on the arm. Officers quickly arrive and try to make entry into the reported home and that's when two of the dogs suddenly charge at them from behind. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, right behind you. Get in the house! Get in the house! There's one. That's the problem. Come on, don't. 
Connecticut is another state with a so-called dog bite statute, which is located in Connecticut General Statute Section 22358. However, in order for a person to justifiably use deadly force against a pet in Connecticut, the force has to be applied during an attack that is not upon the premises of the owner or keeper of such dog, cat, or other animal. This may explain why the officers are choosing not to use deadly force against the animals if they can help it. Perfect for my taser. Huh? Do you? Hey Owen, are they all in the house right now? Cover me. All right, we got two of them in the house. I don't know where the tan one is. Is he? Owen, let's uh, let's try shutting this door. We got them all in the house right now. Taser works on dogs. Waheed, come this way. Let's get three of us so we got three guns, the three tasers on them, all right? Owen, you want to try coming up that way and shut the door? We'll cover you with the taser. Sarge, you got lethal? Owen, come up on that side. Are you sure they're all in there right now? Gotta try shotting it. Just slam it shut, you'll bend it. There's one outside? No, I don't know. I got the door. My heart's are broke. Hey, he didn't catch you, right? My pant I think all three of them went in. I can't see. All three are in the house. One of them got these wrong sticking out of them. Shut that. Get in the house! All four dogs were eventually restrained and the dog that bit the victim was quarantined by animal control. The owner of the dogs later claimed that he had no idea how they had gotten out, but that they weren't at all hostile or dangerous. However, the victim and the officers would greatly disagree, and the owner was issued several citations including allowing dogs to roam and failure to license and vaccinate. But as you'll see in this next case, not all cases concerning pets end badly. In fact, everyone walked away unharmed, all thanks to the heroic actions of this next officer. On January the 22nd of 2022, police received a report of a vehicle fire on a neighborhood street. And when an officer arrived, he could see a smoking vehicle and a man running around in a blind panic. Wait, no, there's a dog in the car. Dog in the car? There's a dog in the car. Oh, my God. Where's it at? It's coming in the back. Right here. Right here? Yeah. Oh, man, come on, man. Hank. Is it unlocked? It's not. It's so far to me. I'm going to lock. It's right here. Come on. Hank, come on. Come on, buddy.
A bystander brought the officer a glass of water and he was later confirmed to be okay by the EMTs. Just moments after the ordeal, Hank the dog was sprinting around the yard, seemingly restored to full health. He was later checked out by a neighborhood veterinarian and confirmed to be okay as well. That case shows us that a good officer will go out of his way for anyone in need. This next case, on the other hand, demonstrates that bad officers will go out of their way to mess with anyone they don't like. You can't look for what? I'll shoot your dog. On April the 13th of 2018, police received a call stating that a man was banging on someone's door with a gun. The caller described the assailant as a heavyset man named Polo wearing a black and green outfit. And when an officer arrived at the reported neighborhood, he confirmed the first man he saw near the scene, Nate Carter, who was just running around outside and checking his mail. Hey, Polo. That was your name. What's going on? I don't know. They calling. They calling. I call. Who are we calling about? Calling about me, buddy. Nah, calling about you? Nah, he calling about me. He ears in his mouth. Hey, how about you watch your mouth for your kiss on the back of my car? Now you can put me the top of the top of my house. My baby probably don't bother you. You go here talking about talking about who am I calling on? I told you no. Hey, listen. Listen, you no, get your ass over here. You're not yeah, part right. of this. Come here. Right. Come here right now. Come here. You can't go for what? I'll shoot your <laughs> dog. Don't shoot my dog, boy. You can't kill my yard. Get over here now. No, get, over here. get over here right now. Hurry up. Taser deployed. Start me at 20. <laughs> Hey, show me your shit! Clear the air, start me some cars. Suspect just went back in the house. Get your ass out here, show me your hands! Get your ass out here now! Get your ass over here now, or I'm gonna shoot your if the officer does shoot and kill Nate's dogs, his actions would not be justified according to Tennessee Code Section 3914205. This section states that a person is justified in killing the animal of another if the person acted under a reasonable belief that the animal was creating an imminent danger of death or serious bodily injury, but... A person is not justified if at the time of the killing the person is trespassing upon the property of the owner of the animal. Since Nate's arrest is already unjustified, as he wasn't involved in the 911 call, the officer is indeed trespassing on his property and will be liable to catch criminal penalties if he follows through with his threat. Suspect has gone back in and out of the house. The taser has been deployed. Come We're here, still working on getting him inside, outside. Come out. Get your over here now. Get your over here now. He went back in. Hey, sweetie, come here. Come here. It's okay. Y'all come here. Hey, y'all come here. Everything's okay. You, stay right there. Hey, you come over there. You go over there. Come here now! Come here now! Get away from the dog! I'm taking my mail dog! Why don't you just on the ground for What is it sir? What the fuck? Are you serious? I took my mail! Y'all give me a Why are y'all doing that? Because I take my mail! I got with somebody else! Okay. Oh. Got too tight. Who cares? Get in the car. Who cares? Get in the car. Man, for real. For real. Get in the car. Hold on. I popped my cherry. There's it. He did. He got, he got popped and then rode it for a minute. And then he slammed the door and the bars popped off. So I don't know if it actually hit him or not. Huh? Medical. 
Uh, he got a barb in the back. His info on why I'm here. This guy. Yeah. Come on, baby. Oh, I gotta talk to him. I need to calm down. Alright. Uh, you call, yeah, correct? Yeah. Was this about him, correct? No, no, no. It was the, uh, it was another guy, but he ran through the head to go. He was standing by that telephone pole and he was talking about shooting up me and her within that playing car. And he was talking about shooting up in her. In her in Cause when house. I walked up, you said, yes, that's him. No, no, I did. Yes, no. you did. Cause I walked up and I said, who are you here about? And he said, yeah, that's why I'm here. And so when I started confronting him about going in the house, I was like, oh, that's erupted. Cause when you start going toward him to the steps, I was hollering, that's not him. Yeah, I just grabbed his info, thank you. It becomes clear by the officer's conduct that he must be relatively new to the job as he clearly didn't know what he'd done. At the very least, he should have been familiar with the famous 1968 case Terry v. Ohio, which gives officers the authority to stop someone only if they have reasonable suspicion that the person has committed, is committing, or is about to commit a crime. Clearly, Nate wasn't breaking the law when the officer pulled up, and furthermore, he didn't at all resemble the heavyset suspect wearing green and black. And with no evidence that Nate had done anything wrong, the officer had no right to stop him for a conversation and no basis to arrest him for not complying. But the officer apparently figured that out at some point as he was caught several times trying to cover up his mistake. He'd falsified details in the police report and was found to have tampered with his body camera. All in all, an internal investigation later found that the arresting officer used force outside the department's standard guidelines, submitted official reports that contained false and misleading information, showed willful indifference to complaints of a prisoner, and displayed behavior and used language during his interaction with citizens that was unnecessary and unprofessional. Yet even after all of that, he was only suspended for 80 hours before being allowed to return to work. Later, all of the information would be outlined in the lawsuit that Nate filed for assault and wrongful arrest. Nate is demanding a grand total of $3 million in damages from the city of Chattanooga as a result of the incident, and as of the date of this video, the suit has not yet been settled. If you enjoyed this video, watch this one, and don't forget to subscribe.